Today I want to discuss my not the bestest experiences at the boutique and kind of debunk why you may not get offered certain items at the boutique. Please stay with me. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aksana. Thank you so, so very much for clicking on this video. I truly, truly appreciate your support to my channel. Today, I want to discuss um, not the greatest experiences at Hermes Boutique. But before I proceed, I'm going to do disclaimer. So first and most, these experiences specifically for me or that I personally experienced. Second, there is absolutely no fault of my sales associate in those experiences. And I will explain later on one, why, because at the beginning I was so frustrated and you know, usually when we're frustrated and because the first encounter it always in with the sales associate and myself, I'm in sales and I know how sometimes people react to me thinking that I don't, don't want to do something for those people, but sometimes it's just circumstances. So anyway, first and most, it has nothing to do with my essay. My essay is fantastic. Uh, and disclaimer, once again, that it has nothing to do per se with the boutique, because sometimes it's also out of their control. And once again, I will explain later on. So this is kind of, um, you know, um, Kind of disclosure that it's uh, not because I don't like boutique, not because I don't like my essay, but these things that I personally experienced at the boutique, and now that I talk to my essay, she explained to me why I might be so frustrated and experiencing those not the bestest, let's say, um, shopping experiences lately. So, but before we proceed, if you're into luxury, if you're into handbags, specifically because I'm absolute addict for the handbags, if you love Hermes, if you love Chanel, Louis Vuitton, etc., etc., please consider subscribing to my channel because I'm absolutely positive that you're going to find at least a little bit of positive or maybe even negative or information that you can use on my channel please subscribe share like don't forget to like my videos because it's definitely helping me on youtube universe so first i wanna start with the purchase of jewelries and my experience with purchase of jewelries and this happened when i purchased this my ring i believe it's uh, the name is H. Dunker. That's what I purchased. And when I purchased these earrings, um, I've been given this simple box. It's just like kind of you pull it up and there is a placement for the ring. And I noticed in um, like, you know, on the secondary market that quite often I see this box. And this is kind of like, you know, debatable because sometimes people say this is actually the box for custom jewelry, but then I don't remember a single ring from the custom jewelry really in from Hermes. If you know any custom jewelry rings, please uh, put your comments below because as long as I know it's either gold or silver, perhaps these boxes are meant to be for silver, not certain, but I got this box um, from the boutique. And then, once again, before I already pay for this ring, my essay comes to me and says, oh, I have no certificates for the ring. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, we just simply run out of the actual brochure where you're gonna put certification, what you purchase and stamp of the boutique with the date of the purchase. And I was like almost um, stumbled like, you have no certificates? And she goes, yes, we have no certificates. Can you imagine buying something at Cartier and they're gonna tell you there is no certificates for your jewelry or we just have no certificates? I was kind of like, uh, you know, then maybe I will wait because I don't wanna buy a jewelry piece of, you know, fine jewelry from Hermes boutique 
without a certificate. She goes, oh, you pay now and when the certificates booklets will arrive, then I will give you certificate. And I'm like, you know what, then I will wait. I would rather wait. Then she started running around and somehow she found uh, a one um, booklet for the certificate and I actually got my certificate with the purchase. But I got this um, jewelry box. And then when I was um, visiting the other day in the boutique and I saw somebody else were purchasing exactly the same ring and they've been offered in this box. It's almost like, you know, Cartier box with this kind of first you get the the orange box and then you're opening up and there is a, another kind of almost like i would say a bit more luxurious looking box and i was like oh but my box when i got it it's just like very simple looking so may i get this kind of box for my ring and i will you know give you this box back she goes oh it doesn't matter and i'm like Yes, it doesn't matter maybe, you know, for somebody who works at the boutique, but it's kind of matter for the customer because I want a proper, you know, box for my fine jewelry. And I mean, she was very, very gracious. She goes like, no, I will give you this box extra. No worry. You can even keep this one. Not that I need this box anyway but she gave me this box and obviously the the ribbons and everything talking about the ribbons once again i noticed in many other unboxing in us or europe they have a year on the ribbon i purchased so many items from the boutique and this last purchase when i was at the boutique it was the first time ever i got a ribbon when it says um 2022 before it was always just Hermes and even sometime uh, I get you know packaging without the ribbons and I guess once again when they are extremely busy they have no time uh, for packaging and sometimes frankly they just run out of the ribbons like as I said they run out of certificate boxes etc the other things I want to mention lately when I'm going to Hermes boutique they just simply giving me my certificate like that like i mean uh, in my receipt and i'm like do you have envelopes and she goes like oh we have no envelopes and then she just gave me in this kind of like you know simple white envelope and i even put it myself hermes just for me to know that it's a hermes um you know receipt and then i spoke with someone over the youtuber instagram uh, fashion junkie and she was just uh, literally also at the boutique and she said that she got the proper um, hermes envelope and once again i don't want to say that because it would be crazy for me to assume that the boutique is specifically picking on me not giving me hermes envelopes but apparently maybe when she was at the boutique they had those um, proper you know um, envelopes with the Hermes logo but when I was at the boutique they didn't so like once again this little inconsistency you know when it just happened once but when it's constantly happened it's kind of accumulates and it becomes like a snowball like you know it's growing more and more and more so the first I want to just tell you about my jewelry what I experienced lack of uh, certificate for the jewelry lack of boxes and simply even lack of hermes um, envelopes so the next point of inconsistencies that i want to bring to your attention is um, not consistency once again with the boxes so for instance when i was purchasing my sandals from the boutique I had a proper box for these specific sandals, like, you know, with the name of the leather, shoes, size, etc., etc. And then recently, when I purchased my um, orange sandals from the uh, website, it was just a simple replacement box. It wasn't really an original box. And, be, and I know why it's replacement box because I receive exactly the same box for my um, ready to wear pieces. So when there is a, something not specifically assigned to the specific items, they have extra boxes at the boutiques that they can place uh, shoes ready to wear 
etc and once again when it comes to actually from the website then i receive actually a proper um hermes envelope at least but not a proper uh, hermes box so once again as i said it's little things it's not a major maybe somebody would be listening to me right now and say what's your problem woman like you know you're complaining about not exact boxes receiving from the um, Hermes but when you pay certain amount of dollars you expect consistency and everything should be as it should be and please once again comment be, comment below if you agree or disagree with me the next and I would say the most frustrating experience for me at the boutique so far and I will share it's when I went to boutique to try to find some shoes and possibly Rodea and I will tell you what happened this is going to be a bit long almost like a story time and then I will tell you um, when I actually discuss this um, experience with my essay and she explained to me why I may not be getting certain items so I had an appointment to try some shoes and when I came to boutique and tried the shoes I tried ones that I actually ordered to try but they didn't look good on me but before I start trying everything, my essay was a bit busy because I came at my time of my appointment, but she was still previously busy with previous uh, customer from previous time slot. And I was upstairs in a shoe section waiting for her. And I was pretty much over there by myself. Plus there is an additional essay with his clients trying shoes. And that essay was offering that client variety of different shoes. And I believe she was exactly my size because he mentioned size 37. He given her Royal, he given her Paris uh, shoes in so many different colors. He given her some, I um, don't remember exactly, I think orange sandals as well. And then he would start offering her Rodeos. And Rodeos, literally, he brought like several, like three rodeos or something in different colors and she goes like oh i don't want this one i have similar color i don't want this one i have similar color and he goes oh yes you already have so many rodeos and i was like oh great so she doesn't want any of those now my essay will come and i will say listen i want some rodeos it's a good time for me because i saw that they actually have it in the boutique so anyway um that essay um kind of pretty much done with the, his customers and they left and i'm just by myself in the shoe section it was midweek not really busy and my essay is coming and i said oh may i try some of these like you know shoes and these colors and she goes like i don't have any and i was like almost like stumbled i was like I just saw <laughs> those shoes in my size <laughs> and specifically the colors that you were like saying that you don't have it you know I just saw somebody try and they don't want them and I was like okay <laughs> because I don't want to confront her it would be like very impolite and almost rude and then I said oh then maybe perhaps you have some rodeos for me because I already keep asking for rodeo for a very very long time and I literally I think I keep asking for rodeo for eight months now I want to have because I don't have a single PM size rodeo in my collection she goes I don't have any and then at that point I was like wow really you don't have any because i just saw somebody try three different or at least been offered three different rodeos and three different colors and actually some colors that i like she goes no i don't have any and uh, at that point i was like literally uh silent i i have nothing absolutely nothing to say i was like okay and then I said politely, well, you know, maybe next time. And I just left the boutique. I didn't say anything, but it bothers me enormously. It bothers me enormously, but I didn't want to talk 
to my essay at the point when I was extremely frustrated and you know express my frustration because it's usually not the best time to discuss something when you're um, you know extremely frustrated so now I'm coming to my last point of this video why some of us may not get certain items offered at the boutique and on my last visit I came and I was actually in good mood I'm gonna have a new unboxing video coming because I got some of the items you know uh, that I wanted uh, from the boutique and you know I was in kind of chatty mood etc and I said to my essay you know what um, it's not that I want to be negative or something but when something is um, uncertain to me and you know I have some negative thoughts I would rather express it in a positive way and just clear the air and think what's happened because I don't want anything that I'm holding back that maybe there is a proper explanation and I exactly explained to her what's happened I said the last time when I was visiting um, I want to try some shoes and apparently you said that there is none and I saw that there is, um, you know, several in the, the shoes and several colors that I actually asked in my size, actually, in fact. And um, on top of everything, which is clear, you know, when it comes to shoes, you may say like, you know, some sizes are reserved, etc. But when I saw the Rodeos, once again, that and somebody didn't want them because they have too many and I'm here asking for just one um, and not being offered. And um, I saw that she was kind of like taken back a little bit and then she offers me her explanation. So apparently what's happening at the boutique when certain obviously non quarter bags we are not talking about the quarter bags but certain items that say popular item non quarter popular item comes to boutique they are equally divided between each essay. So let's say each essay gets hypothetically five uh, rodeos and then this essay can offer these rodeos to their certain clients and obviously usually they go in line um, as a wish list when somebody plays that wish list how long that person waiting etc as I said I'm waiting for my rodeo about eight months now and she says that she didn't have any rodeos to offer to me because she literally didn't have any rodeos to sell because those rodeos are signed to that specific person so when you see something in a boutique it might be in a boutique but it's not assigned to your essay so it means you cannot even get them it's it sounds absolutely crazy and bizarre that it's in a boutique it's available for sale but it cannot be sold to you because it belongs to other salesperson to me it's it's kind of like you know mind-blowing but anyway that's her explanation and at that time I was like am I there even to ask if there is Rodeo today for me and she goes no the answer is still no I cannot offer you any Rodeo and I was like okay never mind but this time I kind of got it almost lightly you know no means no not much you can do about it and I know sometimes when girls are going to Paris and they do shopping vlogs those Rodeos they're lining up like you know in dozen different colors in Paris but in Toronto we are waiting eight months plus to get one Rodeo I mean that's the supply and demand and not much you can do about it but as I said my essay at least offers some what explanation what happens it's not because she didn't want to sell it specifically to me it's just because she didn't have in her possession to sell to anybody and hopefully one day she will offer me a Rodeo hopefully in my preferred color we shall see but Talking about this kind of, you know, item assigned to the essay, it almost brings to my mind next point. So let's say 
if it uh, says that with boutique for very very long time and clearly he or she may have so many clients and let's say if all the items are equally divided between all the SA so let's say SA with like I don't know 50 plus 100 plus or maybe even 1000 plus uh, customers in her profile it will be very very difficult for her to divide those five rodeos or whatever versus a new SA who doesn't have um, yet you know list of um, permanent cl uh, clients or customers who constantly purchasing something from the boutique so I would say it would be easier for that essay to offer something and I clearly can see this in my experience because this essay that I have it's actually my second essay because my very first essay was a young gentleman who was literally fairly new to the boutique and I got offer my Kelly 28 after shopping I would say about four and a half months at the boutique not that I did like like you know some people say I didn't buy anything and get offer no I actually spent I would say about 1.5 ratio if keeping in mind all the handbags I purchased but what I'm trying to say I literally got offer I believe within four and a half months less than five months for sure my first Kelly 28 and it's actually Epsom black with gold hardware like classic combo not some kind of weird color or anything like that and now I'm thinking if the SA, let's say, established and has so many clients and so many customers, I believe it will take you longer to wait for your uh, handbag or anything to get offered. That's my theory. I could be wrong. Please, once again, put your comments below if you think that my theory is wrong or right. I definitely want to know your opinion on this subject because, you know, when it comes to Hermes, sharing is caring. So I guess that's it for today. And as I said, no hard feeling to my essay or my local boutique. I still love Hermes. I still going to continue shopping at my local boutique and hopefully soon I'm gonna be offer, open like unboxing or be will be offered my um, you know next dream bag so that's about it and I will see you on my next one bye bye